Hi everyone, um, my name is Heather and I am going to do a test today um, with painting wine glasses. The difference between water effects and liquid glass. Um, there's been a lot of discussion about whether they're how similar they are and uh, and everything like that. So I am going to do a side by side test to just see how different or similar they are. Um, so I'm going to mix everything the same. So I have golden high flow acrylics and I have this little piggy. So first of all, I am going to put a little spoonful that much into this and that much into this. And please excuse my husband sanding something in the background. And so I'm using sea glass and twinkle for this little piggy. Not much. I'm not using very much because I'm only doing one glass per per test. And then I am going to add a couple drops. Oops. Into each of the golden acrylics. So let's do two, three. One, two, three. And then I'll do the same thing with the teal, or blue lagoon, oh no, teal. I'll do three, this stuff's messy sometimes. One, two, three, one, two, three. Um, so on this side, it's not the, the right bottle, but uh, it's the Wa Lux Water Effects by Wind Modern Art. And I am just going to put a little, I'm gonna put in, there are measurements on this. So I'm gonna put in a quarter, no, somewhere between a quarter and an, an eighth and a quarter of an ounce in each of them. about yeah that's an eighth the same thing with each of these Let's see if these are the same almost so that's my water effects side and I'll mix those up it up really good to make sure the pigments don't clump. This should be good. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with the Triart liquid glass. So I'll put the same amount in each. And 
same there. So I do find that the liquid glass is slightly thinner than the water effects, in my opinion. But not, not by much. Stirring it really well to get rid of the, to disperse the pigments well. All right, so those are ready. So here we go, let's get started. I didn't clean these off with alcohol yet. Just a second. So, uh, I'm going to start with a liquid glass, try our liquid glass. I'm just counting how many times I use my stir stick to put it on. And I think I've lost count already. Six, maybe. And here's the water effects. Just gonna sort of join some of my little strips here just so they flow a little bit better. And same on this side. Alright, 
So I'm just going to kind of fix it a little bit here so the little bits flow properly. And right off, I'm noticing that the liquid glass is a lot more bubbly. And by saying that, I don't mean by a lot, but it is more bubbly. And you can see, well, actually, I'm manipulating it. That's why it's doing that. So let's see here. So another thing I'm noticing now is this one, the, the liquid glass is mixing a fair bit as it turns, whereas this one is not. It's, uh, it is mixing, the colors are mixing a little, but um, they're still sort of staying uh, separate. to each of them just to help with my design a bit. So I just did three on that one. That was three. I lost count. So, um, because I have a lot of paint on there, I always end up um, end up stopping the turner just to let some of it fall off. So I'm going to stop them for the same length of time. And again, you can still you can see a lot of bubbles in this one, and there's no hardly any in in the water effects. So I'm going to stop. Let that drip off. And this one's mixing a fair bit more than this one. Okay, I'm gonna turn them on again. Oops, they're gonna go the same way. And then I'm gonna bring that part to the top let them drip again. So you can see they're dripping off at the bottom here. The amount that's dripping off the bottom is pretty similar, I would say. Oops, you can see that. And I'll, where it was dripping, I like to put that at the top and let it kind of flow back the other way. Still bubbles in there. So, so right now, I like the look of the water effects better. There's more marbling. This one, the colors are blending more. 
I'm losing the white, whereas this one it's still remaining a fair bit. So I'm going to let those turn for a while um, until they dry. As I as I let them dry, if I notice any pooling, I always change directions and I kind of babysit them as I go, just to make sure they don't pool and dry with like a a bump in one side. So. Um, just constantly changing directions every few minutes. But uh, I do see a difference here. Bubbly on that one, not bubbly on that one. A lot more mixing of the white into the teal and not as much on this side. So I'm gonna stop the video now and I'll show you the results when they're dry. So I'm back again, these are still turning and drying. I thought of one other thing that I would like to test and that is how um, each of these products dries clear on the glass because I have noticed the, the biggest difference in that area. So I'm just gonna do a strip of each um, just so it's a clear section and we're gonna see how that dries as well. So here's the water effects. Here's the tri -art liquid glass. Oops, and it doesn't pour as well. I suppose you can't really see this. <coughs> I don't know if they're gonna join or not. There we go, whoops. We'll put a little bit more water effects on just to make it more even. I think it just has to do with the size of the hole mm -hmm. I'm pouring from. Mm -hmm. There. So we'll let that spin as well and see how that turns out. Mm -hmm. I'm back again because I thought of one more thing to try out. Um, <clears throat> often I will, as a as a top coat, like the next stage to doing this type of painting, I would come back in a few days or a week um, just to make sure this is dry, but I would paint over a clear layer of water effects or liquid glass just to seal it because once this dries, it's not gonna be super smooth um, and it just, putting another layer on it just adds a little bit more shine. So what I'm gonna do is do another strip down here where I've just painted on the water effects because, um, Sometimes when, like a glass that I've actually completed, uh, I'll show you one that I have done. So it actually, sh you can see, I don't know if you can see this or not, but you can see a bit of a clear bit in some places. This was done with uh, liquid glass and it's really nice and shiny. Um, but uh, I just wanna see what it looks like when it's brushed on and clear. So I'm gonna do the tri art first. So I'm just gonna put a little, drip and just paint it like that. Actually, hold on, let's uh, stop it. Just do it one section, so. I just wanna see what this looks like when it, because it does self-level a little bit. So we'll do that. effects does feel thicker here too than the than the triart. Anyway, so we'll let that go and see how it turns out. Hi, I'm back again. Um, it's been a few hours, so everything's dry, not cured, but dry. Um, and I just wanted to show you the results that I've seen so far. Um, they pretty much look exactly the same. So here's the water effects. Here is the liquid glass. Um, the strip that I did at the top, right here, with the liquid glass, or sorry, 
water effects is really nice. Nice and clear. And so is the liquid glass. Nice and smooth and clear. The paint, uh, like I said, it did mix more. The paint mixed together, so it wasn't as marbly as I would have liked. Still not bad though. Um, it, was a, it was a little bubbly. Uh, I'll just try and find that spot. Where is it? Um, right here. I don't know if you can see it right here. I only popped the big bubble. I didn't try to get rid of the other bubbles. I'm not even sure I could have gotten rid of that anyway. So this is liquid glass. This one dried nice, um, a little more marbly, which I prefer. I prefer the colors not mix that much. Um, and then I did the test where I painted it a little bit of it. So gonna be hard to see. Do you see it right here? Right here. So that part is painted on. Again, really hard to see. I don't even know how I'm gonna show you this. But liquid glass went on nice and smoothly. A um, couple little bubbles. And you can see the, the, the lines from my paintbrush, but went on nice and smooth. You can barely even see it there. So for water effects, um, where is it? here's where I painted that. And you can see it's kind of orange peely. It's not as clear as the liquid glass. And so what I would normally do with these glasses, I would normally do another coat over top of it of clear just to seal it and, make, and protect it. So I find often with water effects, when I do this clear coat over this, I get the orange peel effect. Even if this is smooth, I still get the orange peel effect um, when I do my second coat. Now, I don't know if I need a second coat. It's probably okay, but I just like to protect it a little bit more. So, that's just today that I painted these. So what I'm gonna do is wait a little while and see how, how they harden. Um, I do find that the water effects glasses harden nicely after a couple days. So for instance, I did these the other day. These are water effects. And when I scratch, with my nail, I, I can't do it with my gloves on. I did this earlier, but when I scratch with my nail, it's it's not doing anything. Like it's not damaging. I mean, if I scratch really hard, it might, but it's not damaging the edge or anything like that. Again, it's only been dry for a couple days, so I wouldn't go at it too hard. Uh, and I did test some other ones that had been curing for several weeks and I they were hard. Like I really couldn't scratch them. Now I did, these the other day with liquid glass and they are from they are from um, like eight seven days ago and I didn't do it on this one but there's a, a twin to this one and I scratched with my nail and it, it did come off a little bit like it pulled down a little bit now I don't know if it just takes longer for the liquid glass to cure and harden uh, I'm gonna try this again, you know, in a couple weeks or a week from now and just see if this one will still um, scratch off because if it does, then I can't use liquid glass for my glasses. Like if it's not gonna harden enough after say 30 days or whatever to stay, especially if it gets soft when it's wet, um, I just can't use the liquid glass. Um, but for now, aside from that, they're very similar, um, just the liquid glass is a little bit smoother, but it seems like the water effects is harder, dries harder and faster. Um, so I will be back in several days to let you know how the, how the scratch test goes. All right, we're back again. It's been a week, or sorry, two weeks and a day since I made these glasses. So we're gonna do some scratch tests here. Um, I've got liquid gloss on this side and the water effects on this side. 
Um, so normally I wouldn't scratch my glasses up um, if I'm selling them. Um, and usually if I, I normally work with water effects. So normally I would let these glasses go within a week of uh, making them, but I thought I'd wait a couple weeks just to make sure. Um, they're probably not still fully, fully cured. It probably would take close to a month, but uh, anyway, here we are. So water effects. Um, we've got the three different layers. I've got the thicker layer right here. I've got the thinner layer with the paint mixed in and the area where I brushed it on. Uh, it's really hard to see. I don't know if you can see it. There's just like a circle right here. So let's do the scratch test on the thick part. So I'm not really able to grab onto anything here. It's pretty, pretty hard. Um, yeah, in the middle, I'm, I am leaving a couple, I'm leaving some uh, nail indentations, but on the edges, uh, it's it's not making a mark at all, really, that I can tell. Uh, maybe still a little soft right here. So some indentations here, nothing on the edge. And here, again, it's pretty hard. I can't I can't grab the edge. Um, it's not making any marks at all. Nothing. Some very slight indentations with my nail, but nothing much. And here's the spot here where I did the, the painted on thin, thin layer. And this is only what I would do as a top coat. I don't normally just paint on a thin layer and leave it. Um, I would paint on the thin layer and cover up this. Um, anyway, so scratching this part. No marks, can't grab it. Uh, there's nothing, like it's, it's solid, it's hard. All right, so liquid glass, do the same thing. So, ow, I keep bending my fingernail back. So I'm gonna have to use a different nail. <laughs> so I am sort of able to grab the edge a little bit. I can see marks where I did. Now maybe after a month it would cure better. And again, I can do indentations probably a little bit more so than the water effects. They're more noticeable. Like I can draw lines in it. I don't know if you can see right there. See what I'm talking about? Little marks right there. So, and I can see marks along the edge where my nail caught. Can you see that right there? Right along there. So, this is the thicker line. Now on the part where I painted, um, I can't really scratch the edge. It's not doing anything. I don't see anything. I can see indentations. I don't know if they're any better or worse than the water effects one, but I can't, I'm not making any marks here that I can tell. And the part where I painted on, the thin layer, I can't grab the edge at all. I am leaving some scuff marks where I'm scratching and I didn't do that on the, I didn't do that on the water effects. Again, I don't know, I'm trying to see. Can you see right here, there's a reflection, but on either side of the reflection, you can kind of see some lines. And that's my nail having scratched it. It's not really cutting into it, but it's leaving a scuff mark. So, from what I can tell here, the water effects is harder. Um, I mean, maybe this would be okay after a month of curing, but it's been two weeks now. And normally I would like to let these go by now, but with the triart, I'm not sure I would just yet. Um, but next I'm gonna do a water test. So normally in my care instructions, I would say, you know, hand wash, dry immediately, just so that they don't get water damaged. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse them and just sit them on the counter. Um, and actually, I'll do that really quick, bear with me. So I've just ran these under water. Um, 
it was just lukewarm water, maybe a little bit cool. Um, and I just set them down here on the counter because a lot of people just rinse and leave them on the counter so that they can dry them later. So odds are this will happen fairly frequently, um, them getting wet like this. So I'm gonna leave them like this for a little while, half an hour maybe, and just see if the water does anything to them. Um, this one's the water effects, and this one's the liquid glass by Triart. So I will come back later and see how they do. All right, it's been a half an hour and these glasses have sat with water on them. Um, so this one's liquid glass, this one. Um, I'm gonna go at the kind of wet spot, this part, the thicker part. And, uh-oh, comes right off after sitting wet for a half hour. So that was the thicker part. So the, this part, comes right off. Liquid glass. Well, that's not good. I mean, normally I wouldn't pick at it so bad. This is coming right off too. Like, as I said, in my care instructions, I recommend that you um, dry immediately. Of course, not everybody does, but hopefully they don't pick at <laughs> the paint. All right, so that's liquid glass, try it liquid glass. And that part at the bottom, Can't quite get a hold of that part, but oh no, there we go. It's coming off. All right, doesn't look good. And hopefully, water effects does better because this is the one that I sell. So there's no wet spots. Okay, I can get a hold of it a little bit here. And that's coming off as well. But it was harder to, oh, that's coming off a bit better. All right, that doesn't look good either. <laughs> so let's see, this part, kind of wet spot. to get at but it's still this one I picked out a little bit earlier so so however people have to remember that this is art and you don't pick at it <laughs> and here my spot down here where I painted it on thin and it's coming off a little bit but I can't really get a piece off Anyway, oh, that doesn't bode well for either one of them, really. <laughs> so obviously these have uses, other uses, but I've been using the water effects for glasses. Um, now, as long as you follow my care instructions, you, uh, you should be okay. Like it's, it is harder to pick at this part. Sorry about that, my phone just died. Or I ran out of storage actually, so I had to go delete some photos. Um, so I just re-watched that video just now that I just took. Um, I did notice that the, the liquid glass, it was easier for me to pick at and get loose. Um, the water effects, I, I felt like I had to ha try harder to get a loose edge. Um, which to me just means that it's it does dry a little bit harder. Now keep in mind, these are only two weeks old. So they do recommend it cure for a month before before it's fully cured, really. 
Um, so again, with people following care instructions, um, they shouldn't be picking at that. And if they dry it immediately, then these edges will dry. Um, they shouldn't, they shouldn't get loose. Um, anyway, I have a couple more I'm going to try. I don't have any, I do have a liquid glass, glass, um, that's three weeks old that I was able to peel by doing the same method. Uh, I will attach that there, but I'm also testing two water effects glasses. I don't have any any liquid glass glasses that are older than three weeks, but I'm testing, currently testing this one, which is water effects that is I did in May. And then this one, I think it's about a month old. So I'm doing the water test on this one as well. So I will see, I'll wait about a half an hour again and see if these ones are affected. So here's a little bit of a test. This uh, glass was done three weeks ago and I used it and uh, it was done with triart. And uh, after I used it, I just let it, I rinsed it and let it sit wet like this. So water was kind of sitting along the edge of the, the clear part and look what happens. Look, that has peeled. I can peel it right off. Great. Try to do this one handed. So, it's not looking so good for tri art on classes, which is too bad. I like the look. All right. Here's another one. I'm just curious now. So this one I did in water effects. I did it in May. Um, so I just did the water test. It's been about a half an hour uh, sitting so you can see the water droplets there. I'm gonna pick at them. So I can get it loose. So. I do know other people use water effects with glasses um, a fair bit, and they have good luck with them. I mean, this one's a little bit harder to peel. This part that I, I peeled off was a, a, a sealing coat, like a final layer, which was thin, so it was a little easier to get off, but this stuff's, this stuff's a little bit harder to get off. So, <laughs> it's not epoxy, obviously. I miss doing epoxy, but I just can't do it for health reasons. Um, so I guess the moral is, follow my care instructions, <laughs> but obviously this one's harder, like it, it's, it's been curing for a lot longer, so I'm having a harder time getting, I'm just getting that little tiny thin layer off. Um, but once it's dry, it is harder to get that part off. So there's that one, and then see if I can get this. So this one's a month old, and it's a wet spot here. Pardon me. Sorry. That angle. So this one had a thicker layer at the top. And actually, yeah, it's a little loose there, but it's harder to get a good, get it. I really can only get it in one spot where it was a little bit thin. So I guess from what, so based on my experiment, I think that the water effects is harder. Um, I'm getting a, a better seal around my glasses. Um, obviously water is not our friend and uh, the longer you wait, obviously the harder it's gonna be. So this one's about, this one's a little bit more than a month, I think. And it's doing pretty well actually in the water. The thinner coat, it's, you know, it's a little bit, it's coming apart a little bit, but Again, it's been sitting in water for half an hour, which I recommend that you don't do. So, 
All in all, um, I think the water effects is a little bit harder. Um, I am still planning on using water effects for my glasses, but I don't think I'm going to do the use the tri art. I might do some more testing, see how it does after about a month, but um, for all my tests, I do find that the water effects does cure a little bit harder than than the tri art. Um, anyway, so that concludes my testing. I hope it uh, cleared things up for you because it didn't really clear a whole lot for a whole lot up for me. Um, but if you have any questions, just send me a message or leave a comment. Thanks a lot.